Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry, one of my favorite games. Let's get back to it. <laughs> so much to do, so much to do. All right, we have new workers have arrived on the island, yet we're still short. We received 18 new workers, a little bit of copper, some rubber and a negligible amount of diesel, but we'll take it with a smile. And I think we'll leave the beacon on. It's going to take 11 months. We'll get another batch of 18 refugees. This does cost us, what, one worker and some power and actually some unity too. Hmm. Monthly unity. Monthly unity is... Look at that. Monthly unity is one, right? So 11 unity to get these 18 refugees. I wonder if it's cheaper for us to kind of adopt them off the map. We probably need to do both at this point. Uh, yeah, we can get eight for two, right? That's a better deal. Let's, uh, let's take these. Boom. That puts us back in the positive with regards to workforce. Um, but we do need more. We do need, we do need more for sure. All right. We got a message as well that said we had delivered our, the building parts over to the, um, sawmill. Let's check that out see what's going on. Oh, that's one reason why we're short workers. We have 24 working at the sawmill. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can let that run for a bit. And then we, before we send our, hmm. Let's let this run. I was going to say, before we send the ship home, let's uh, let this accumulate. And then we'll load up our main ship with cargo, with wood to take it back. Cause we're short on wood. But I think what we can do is maybe we can send the ship out to battle pirates. Let's see how we do on this. We have, I believe, upgraded armor and two sets of guns. So maybe we will have some success there. Uh, we do not have any of our oil importing turned on yet. We do have the offshore oil rig running, kind of half-staffed. Uh, and it looks like it's about half filled up with oil. We'll let that accumulate a little bit more, and then uh, maybe we can send the cargo ship out. Again, we need to staff it up, though, so we need more people, for sure. Food, I imagine, is looking good. We have to kind of check down here to know for sure. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All of these are full, so that's plenty. Okay, we're in battle. Oh, boy, we've got a rough enemy to start out with. We might be in trouble here. Yeah, it looks like we're starting to take take these guys out. In terms of colors, just with my color blindness, this red and this green are horrible. Very hard for me to tell those apart. Did we do it? Yeah, we got them. Nice. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, we managed to scuttle some resources too. Not a whole lot, but something, right? And did we find a cargo ship? Nice. That's awesome. So let's see. Our ship's on the way home, it looks like, automatically. Let's take a look at the shipyard. I'm not sure if I have to do start repairs here. I guess it doesn't hurt. I'm waiting for material delivery. Let's go to the shipyard and see if we can start loading up those materials. We're going to want that so we can set up another cargo depot and maybe have that one do the wood for us. Okay, yeah, we have double armor plating. We have the two guns. That probably helped us. Start loading the ship. Okay, it's going to take 186 copper. Oh, and steel, of course. We don't have steel. We do not have steel. Bummer. That's always the case. We're always missing something. All right, we dismissed that message. We still need to do limestone. That's been kind of on the list for a really long time. I just want to see copper. Did we ever store off extra plates? No. I dumped extra plates in. I didn't store off extra plates. Where might we do such a thing? Uh, it would have to be here, right? If we wanted to have a supply of copper on hand, we probably do. Uh, it's going to impact our electronics supply, but look at... Oh, no. That's rubber coming in. The electronics... Mm. 
How are we doing on electronics? Are we catching up? This belt does not look backed up. It's a huge belt. I'm just looking to see. Uh, here's a supply here. This is full and backed up. This is supplying our maintenance array. Maintenance is looking good at 100%. Uh, here is the next stop for electronics. Not doing so good here. This is construction part two usage. We do have enough. This belt is backed up, but we just don't have any extra. This warehouse was temporary to get rid of extra bricks we had on hand. I guess it doesn't hurt to keep it here. It's I don't imagine this has maintenance or anything associated with it, so I guess I'll leave it. Just thinking about deleting it, but maybe we'll end up bringing some in, some in from the trade hub or something in an emergency, and that'll give them a place to unload. Uh, and then the last place for electronics is over here. Where, where, where? There's construction part twos. Oh, is that the last stop? That is the last stop. I thought there were three places. One, two. Am I missing something? Maintenance, construction part threes. I mean, sorry, construction part twos. I thought there was a third stop for those electronic parts. What was it for? Lab equipment and stuff. Yeah, over here. Here they come in. Boom. Uh, in these, it looks like we don't have a special item storage for them. We're just using the belt as kind of the warehouse. So that that line does look like it's backed up. So we're doing okay. Let's um. The point of all that is, I think it's safe for us to divert some of this copper off into storage. So unfortunately, let's take this guy out. This guy can go boom. We're gonna put another warehouse right there and just split and feed it, but that one's in the wrong orientation. This belt can go. We'll get something back for this. Okay. Looks like we're doing great on copper ore and coal, and our slag's getting dumped pretty efficiently. You, I would like to remove... Not crazy about using Unity. Look, we're, we're in the negative on Unity, probably because of the beacon. And we do have... Do we have both research labs up right now? Or just the one? Just the one. Uh, what about this? This guy is still being built. I think, yeah, the construction is paused. Let's unpause it and get this built. Okay, paused. Where's the construction pause? Let me... Go up. There we go. This is the pause I want to undo. We had this pause because um, we were trying to get construction materials over to the sawmill, but that's taken care of now. And it looks like we've got a decent supply. Once we get this built, we can get ourselves some extra unity um, just by increasing the food consumption by 25%. We have a surplus of food at the moment, so I think that's a fair trade. Yeah, I guess I don't. Let's prioritize this at least. Hmm. Need this out of my way. Need this out of my way. I guess we'll wait. What else? What else? Our ship is back. Uh, has some copper on hand. <laughs> oh, no. Has copper on hand. Maybe that can be used for here. I guess maybe I should have left that copper warehouse. Oh, man. Okay, keep this empty. Hopefully this guy unloads. Oh, no, I take it back. This guy is loading up resources now. Loading up stuff for the damaged cargo ship. But you don't have to wait for that, I don't think. I think we can go battle. And let's do it. Let's go in a different direction, though. Let's go take it to these pirates. We were anxiously awaiting the armor and the weapons. We have them. Let's start clearing those nodes. Oil can wait. We've got plenty of diesel here. This one is full. This is all shut down, so let's shut this down for a bit. Save some workers, save some power. 
I'm not sure what I want to do with our rubber production. I kind of want to save this underground oil reserve. I know it's only 33,000 left. But to do that, I need to either move our little diesel array or just shut this one down and put up a new one over here somewhere. Maybe, maybe along here we could have an array of diesel generators just as emergency power. We do have new power coming in the tech tree, right? In fact, it's already researched. Yeah, this is our coal power generation. Guess we should be moving on that. Ship was fully repaired. Ship was fully repaired. Was that our ship? Mm, I don't think that was the cargo ship, was it? No, it's showing one of three is ready. Okay, we got refugees in. Hooray. What should we work on? I guess we should build more, more storage here for diesel. And then I guess we can get these guys working. We have a bunch of workers here. They have no oil. Let's, um, let's turn this stuff on. In fact, I can probably get away with just turning one on at a time. If we want to be super miserly about the workers. Okay, I'm still minus seven. Minus seven on workers. I think we could, we have one farm already turned off. How's our beacon? 18 refugees, 11 months. Am I paused or something? Or did we get still 11 months? Hmm. Can we get a few more? We can get four more. Here's our battle. Should be in good shape unless they get lucky here. Okay, victory. We'll take it. Uh, radar system. Good. More copper. More vehicle parts. And we... I think we have enough fuel. Can we explore? Let's do it. Maybe we'll find another colony we can adopt people from. We're still a little short. Donate 80 construction part twos. We could almost do that. Also, uh, let's see, how are we doing? Construction part twos are okay. Cargo ship is low on fuel. Oh, 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 oh. We need a line, a fuel line to feed this thing too. Hmm. What's the best way to do that? We could tap, tap right out of the supply. Why don't we do that? There's a risk. If we don't have oil that's being produced, there's a risk that this pipe is going to be dry and we won't be able to fetch more oil because uh, the cargo ship won't have fuel. Let's do, let's do this. Let's expand this guy. Let's do more of these. I want to have a lot of fuel on hand kind of at all times. Boom, boom, boom. Pipes. You to you. You to you. Let's fix that one. I always forget it does build a little different. You, you to you to you. And then the same thing over here. You, you to you. Okay. And then we need to make sure that trucks don't try to go in here. So let's make sure this is all off. 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 And then these guys need to be set to fuel or diesel. 
off and off. And then let's do the eyedropper here. Boink, 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 boink. And then maybe I do let trucks come here. How's that? And then that'll be good for now. Let's run a line. Oh, it occurred to me, I noticed that these weren't actually matching. We could fix these two. Let's do it. Just trying to make these things all look the same. Let's see if I can. They kind of come down and then wiggle to the right. So these need to kind of come down. And then wiggle to the left, right? Yeah, that's a little better. Let's fix it. This is just aesthetic. It's kind of stupid, but we'll do it. That way it'll look symmetric, more symmetric. The wiggle is kind of unfortunate. So you to you. I wait for that thing to clear. Right, now these match better. And then I was gonna run a pipe out of here. Let's go, this'll be maybe temporary. So you to here and then up. Uh, do not snap here and then that's Probably not quite where I wanted it. There. All the way over to here. Then it can work its way down. Boom. I think that's a little safer as far as fueling the cargo ship. And it should get fuel real soon. This guy says I'm trapped. Can't reach destination. Where are you trying to go? Just turned off a bunch of those settings, but apparently I didn't do these. All right, let's dismiss these messages. That one we won. This one. I don't know what's where we're at. Where's the ship? Okay, back here. We're on our way back. Uh, did we lose or something? Location explored. Found some loot, 18 and 31 copper. Okay, he's on his way back. We have more nodes to explore. He's gonna refuel. Pipes being built here, no trucks are stuck. Let's go see if our copper is ready to be stored off. So what we can do here, we can do a couple things. Let's, um. Do unit storage here. How do we want to do this? Basically, I want two storages. I want one that can be fed from the ship or anything we buy or we acquire from, you know, refugees coming. And I want that to feed back into this line. So maybe that's this one. Boom. Something like that. That's fine. And transport here. This is basically serving the same purpose as the one we got rid of. This guy's going to accept copper plates. And hmm, we don't want to have it set to keep full. Just want there to be storage. And then we want another one. Let's see, hopefully these don't end up in having trucks taking from one, filling to the other, it gets belted into the first one, the first one gets trucked over to the second one. Hopefully that won't happen. Um, but we want a little supply here of copper plates. So this one is for just having a place to offload the ship. And this one is so we have a supply of them for ship upgrades or whenever we need extra copper sheeting. Let's do conveyors. To you, to you, to you. And then this one doesn't need any um, 
any settings here as far as keep full or not. We'll just get half of that supply and have a little cash. And that should be fine too. I think as long as we have the ship dock set to always keep empty, if there's copper sheets, they'll bring them over here once this is built, I believe. And again, the ore looks fine here. We're doing okay with just one smelting setup for the copper. Okay, our cargo ship went off. Hopefully it'll come back and fill up these oil tanks. We're still a sh little short on workers. What's the beacon say now? Three months. Okay, that's better. We'll take the workers. I'd like to actually get that farm going again. Oh, captain's office is ready. Let's set this edict. Plenty of food. That will... Oh, it's still not putting us in the positive, huh? Oh, there's a level two of that, too. I guess we have to um, unlock that from the tech tree. Growth pause disables natural population growth. That doesn't cost us any unity. Health boost. Increase safety conditions to get an extra plus 10 health points. Uh, we don't think, I don't think we need that. Okay, Unity now just ticked up into the positive, barely. Kind of a bummer, because we still only have one research lab going. I'd like to get them both. All right. That pipe's all taken care of. That guy got refueled. We're still short workers. Let's adopt a few. Get two more. That puts us in the positive on workers. It says low food supply, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, and our fuel station. We're going to need to set up a new fuel station. Uh, that has to branch off of this somehow. These pipes look silly not being upgraded, so let's do it. Fuel station could actually tap off of here. Let's do it. Where might that be? Uh, buildings for vehicles? Fuel station? Does it matter? Could we even put it over here? I mean, it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best location. Because uh, these trucks are going to be traveling pretty far to do their refueling. But... We may add more refueling centers later. And this land's not very usable for much else. Not the best location, but I'm going to do it. Like I said, when we start routing fuel across the island, um, maybe we'll find a better place. Wouldn't mind having this prioritized. Uh, make sure this gets built soon, because we're going to run out of fuel for our vehicles. Um, let's put this one on a pause. It's empty. These diesel generators, we're going to run out of power next, right? So we'll pause the fuel station. Let's kick on one of these for now. And we need to turn on one set of these guys. So these are the ones that are supplying oil. Of course, I'm going to chew through workers I don't have, probably. Looks like we got the refugees arrived, so that's good. So I think these three pumps are working with this guy. Yeah, we're getting oil. They'll fill up this stuff. And then we need to have generators move over to using this this fuel. We could do that here too. Have a little array of generators off of this fuel supply. Uh, we'll have to branch off of it. Kind of like that idea. Let's see if we can get a pipe down from here. Pipe. Like I said, I'd like to save that other oil deposit just for, in case we have an emergency. So you are down there. And then let's look at power. Diesel generators. Okay, one, two, three.
four, five, six. I don't know if these need level two pipes, but I'll use them. You can go into there. You there, you here. Don't want to. Yeah, something about these connectors being too close to each other. I'm not crazy about that restriction. Will that connect up? No, okay. Back off. Yeah, too close to another connector. It's too bad. It's a little, a little annoying. And I can't, this guy won't go in there. It's too close. We can get them all connected. I think. Yeah, just barely. So that'll work. And we'll leave that open. Maybe we'll put one right there. This guy needs trucks assigned. Let's turn off the trucks here. We may restore it later someday. But right now, I want that operation shifted over here. Uh, let's add a truck for three. This is starting to get fuel. So the fuel station's online. Once we get this diesel generators online, we will shut off all of these diesel generators. And then we need to move to coal power. Research, we need to pick. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Housing level two, smart conveyor routing, maintenance depot level two. Retaining walls, biofuel kind of looks good. I think we're going to need the burner. So let's get that going. I think that's going to be an essential part of our factory building. Basic desalination, I think we're okay on water. Biofuel is intriguing to me but not urgent. Uh, let's do these other two here just to get them knocked off the list. Did I do ramps? Sometimes I forget to do ramps. Yeah, we have ramps. Good. Harvester cannot reach destination. Why? What are you talking about? Where are you trying to go? Trying to refuel. That's fine. You will get refueled soon enough by these guys, I believe. I think they have a range across the island. I hope. Are you going to fuel the harvester by any chance? Nope. You're doing the excavator. And who else is helping? You're doing nothing, sitting idle. And can we see the other truck? This guy is going to fuel up an excavator. We'll see. Hopefully the tree harvester gets resolved. Uh, in fact, we could take the ship out and bring back wood. We do have some warehouses for that. Those are construction part two supply. Where do we have the wood coming in? Here. Yeah, let's go fetch wood with our ship. Boom. Load cargo. Will he make the trip now to do that? Yeah. I think we got a batch of crude oil in, I thought. This guy... I think we need this... We need this one working. We're still short on workers. Refugees came in. Settlement power got researched. We can add that building and maybe generate some uh, unity. We're getting low food warnings, but I think we're fine. We have tons of food. Hopefully they're serving it up. Yeah, they have tons. Tree harvester can't reach destination. I think that's gonna resolve itself. The worker situation... Oh, it's because our diesel generators came online. Let's shut these down. We'll free up some workers this way. 12 workers. You can go. You can go. Uh, there's a pause tool. I should just use that, right? And we'll let this oil production go just to fill up these tanks. And then hopefully this will be emergency. Like emergency power. So let's turn off truck import export. 
And this will be like an emergency supply of diesel. Still not sure what I want to do with the rubber production. I think I want to move that over to using imported oil instead of using this reserve. I want to have that underground oil on the island be kind of like emergency supply. Can we turn this guy on yet? Unpause you. This guy is going to unload oil. Okay, it appears our refining is working. That guy is moving, that guy's moving, that one and that one. So we're making diesel. Cargo ship. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave these workers. There's probably... We could be a bit more efficient if we waited till this oil rig filled up or we added more workers. Adding more workers is going to be a little bit of a challenge with the unity because it's probably going to double the unity if we go to 36 workers. And that would put us just barely in the positive on unity. That's not so great. Not sure what the upgrade to the oil rig does. Um, yeah, we still haven't yeah, we don't have steel. Lots to do. The beacon's still running. We'll get 18 refugees in less than four months. I do want to get this other farm going. And then maybe look. We could look at biofuel as well. Water seems to be... Let's see. We haven't checked it in a while. We better f turn on one of these guys if we have the workers. We do. Just barely. And then I can't boost. We don't have enough unity for me to put a boost on this. Uh, I want to get more unity so we can adopt colonists. We'll let this guy start pumping. He'll fill these tanks up. Water is not great over here. This rain will help. Bricks are fine. Construction part ones should be pretty darn good. Are we loaded? We're not. We're not fully loaded on those yet. We're still making them. Coal looks good. Iron looks good. Power. Should we switch to coal power? And if we do, where would we do it? Seems like we do it over in this area. We have a big chunk of land right here. Our land bridge is still going. Slow, slowly. Uh, and we wanted to have our ship come back. Let's get the wood loaded up. So we've got 1,616 wood in the cargo. Let's, uh, could you take it to the pirates now? Let's try it. And then once he fights, he'll probably immediately go back to base. If not, maybe we can pick up some more wood on the way back. But yeah, coal power. Okay, we need a boiler. We have an option to do a gas boiler. Interesting. Um, that's interesting. I have to think about the implications of that. We do have byproducts that we could use run a boiler off of instead of coal. Okay, I'm just trying to see your formula here. All right, let's go check the battle out. We should be in good shape. Boy, that armor helps a ton. And one ship down. Our gun's looking good shape. He just lost a gun. Yeah, we're going to win this. There's no doubt. There we go. We'll take it. We got some more copper. And yeah, he's going to make his way all the way back to home base. And he's going to bring back 1,600 wood, which will buy us some time on that front. Low food supply. We have 19 workers now. This is all in good shape. Everybody's working, doing their thing. 
I'd like to see these oil reserves fill up. Uh, what else? This is slowly refilling these three tanks. Those will be reserve. Yeah, I never did belt the coal over here. <laughs> over here. It's a little embarrassing. Uh, I was going to belt it from here. We could do that. That would save some trucking, but these are going to be backups. So maybe I won't bother with it. Yeah, so back to the power situation. We could do either... Byproduct product power spy product steam using this heavy oil or we could do this guy using coal they both need access to water obviously for the steam and then we want to set up you know generators and all that kind of stuff for power um i guess it can be anywhere right because power, there's no power lines or anything that you have to route. This isn't a bad spot. Or we could try and do it on this lower level. Looks ugly, though. I want to get grass under here. Hmm. Yeah, the terraforming is going a little bit slower than I was hoping. What could we do? Where should we do this? Maybe just up top here. And then what do we do for water? I don't think we have water nearby unless we desalinate. Mm, yeah, no water deposits. Big water here. Maybe this is where we need to do this. Huge water deposit up here. Eventually, I want to flatten this land all the way down to one above sea level. Then I want to top it off with dirt, and then I want to build stuff on it. But that's going to be probably several years from now. So maybe we can just do a power setup over here. We'll tap into this water, maybe add more rain collectors or something and share it with the electrolyzer for the copper and then have pumps for backup and then leverage coal for our fuel and do the coal boilers. Let's, uh, let's plan for that. We'll do it next episode. Let's plan to do that next episode. Um, we could get started just so it happens. Let's do it. Boiler. Yeah, we're going to go coal. Well, we have a lot of ratios to look at and everything, but let's assume coal. Exhaust. We want, we want to flip probably. Right. Exhaust out the top. Coal and water. I guess it doesn't matter. I see how they're doing it. Um, and then steam. Yeah, we're going to be hopping pipes, I think, no matter how we do this. Steam. Let me just see. How much steam? 48 per minute. And then what do pipe twos do? 200. Yeah, so we could do, what is it, five? Almost five boilers per pipe. So call it four. Four boilers would put out, yeah, just short of 200 steam. So how would we do that? They would share a pipe. They would have to share inputs somehow. What about... Um, if I wanted to get clever, they could share their exhaust, their smokestacks, right? TR, flip, R, R, R. Something like that, potentially. Yeah, can they even go that close? Let's see, I'm going to pause. Let's just see. That's too far up, by the way. Let's clear this. Sorry. Boom. Boilers. Okay, steam in the middle. And then do another one. This time we're going to rotate. Flip it. 
and see if they can share their exhaust with smokestack. Oh, they have a large smokestack. Takes 600 a minute. This guy takes 60 a minute, and these guys put out... Oh, look at that. They put out 36 a minute. Oh, that's a bummer. So we have to use the big smokestack. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, and that's huge. Okay, forget that plan. Delete this guy. I don't want to bother with that. We'll just do regular smokestacks. Boink. And then, can I cut and paste? Timing mode, cut, copy. What was it? Is it shift or something? Right click, nope. Copy, boom. Okay, that one goes there. And then now we got to flip. And rotate, whoops. I think that's what I want. Boom. Okay, four boilers. Steam will go out the out the middle here with a large pipe. And then we'll do we'll work on the power generation next episode, right? We're gonna have the ability to run quite a few of these high pressure turbines. So two per boiler, is that right? This gets uh this takes 24 high pressure steam. 24 high pressure steam. Yeah, two per boiler. So I may be overdoing it. But uh we'll go we'll go big. And then we can always shut them down. We'll build for scale and then we can um shut them down until we need them. Then we can just click a button and turn them on when we come up short on power. And we'll set up a good cache of coal supply in loose storage containers. A hey, tree harvester still can't reach destination. Where are you trying to go? Still trying to refuel. Wonder if there's a way to tell him to not do that. We'll pause, unpause, and then maybe one of our fuel trucks will be kind enough to refuel our tree harvester. Might happen, might not. Yeah, let's leave it there. We made a little bit of progress, right? We took out some pirates. We brought back a ton of wood. Hopefully that will be unloaded soon. We're starting to load up parts for, is this repairing the second cargo ship? Of course we need, I don't know, what is this for? Mechanical parts and iron. This says steel and copper. Uh, what is this? Dell ship health and repair. That's the repair. Interesting. All right. So mechanical parts are needed for repair. Um, we're paused. Let's unpause. But yeah, we brought in our first shipment of crude oil that's currently being processed. We're starting to store up fuel. We set up a new fuel storage location or a fuel depot to fuel up our excavators and hopefully our tree harvester. Moved our backup generators. They're our primary energy source now, but they're about to become backups. And then we shut off most of this. We're trying to conserve what's left of this underground oil deposit. 32,000. Um, hopefully I can shut that down soon. We'll fill up these three tanks. We have these set so no one can take fuel from them. We turned off this guy. We'll probably let this fill up just to store a little bit more fuel. And then again, an emergency, we can throw trucks on this and they'll start refueling. Um, Anybody that, that's stalled out for lack of fuel in case we run out of diesel down the road. So all of this is just kind of safety net. 
So we'll let this diesel processor run for a little bit longer, fill these tanks up, then we'll shut this off, shut off the pump jacks, and then we're probably gonna move rubber production. Oh man, that's hard to do. Hard to move rubber, right? Because we have this ginormous belt. We may actually run a fuel line. Oh, we'll have to think about it. Probably gonna wanna run fuel across the island anyway, but um, yeah, maybe we just run fuel over here. Fill this tank through this little input port with our offshore our offshore gained oil, or we could do something clever with biofuel, right? We have a bunch of food here. We could direct some food over into some kind of biofuel processor and have that fill up. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's it for now. This is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Captain of Industry. I've said it a thousand times. One of my favorite games. Some more workers here. And thanks to everybody who's been giving the videos a thumbs up and sticking with the series. Uh, feel free to add your suggestions in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see done on the island here. We have a lot of work to do, a lot of terraforming. And now that we're getting diesel ramped up, as long as maintenance, we can hold out on maintenance and keep that scaled up, we might be able to accelerate the terraforming. That's kind of a big big part of what we need to do and we need to find our way over to this limestone anyway that's it for now i will see you all in the next episode